Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Alma's Beauty. My name is Alma and if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, give me a thumbs up and here we go. Let's get started on today's video. Okay, so I just moisturized my face. I am using the La Roche-Posay. Yes, my favorite. And I didn't put nothing else on my skin other than that. And I have a moisturizer for my lips. Well, it's a lip oil and I'm using this one by Milani. Okay, I'm going to prime my face using the MAC Fix Plus. I know you're thinking, what the hell is she doing with a turtleneck? It's not a turtleneck. It's a sleeve, like short sleeve. It's see-through. Yes, I got my microphone. Testing, one, two, testing. And this is what I'm going to be wearing today. I don't even know if I'm going to wear this. I feel so weird. But I'm going on a, like a dinner with my sister and my daughter, the oldest one. And it's like a girl's dinner. So she wanted us to dress all fancy. And here I am trying to dress all fancy. Ever since my tummy tuck, I haven't bought a new wardrobe at all. And I, the only thing I've bought is like shirts because I noticed that I'm kind of sizing down a little bit. And so what I had to do today is go through my closet and see what pretty much fits me. Um, I tried wearing a pencil skirt that I have had for years and it's a little tight when it goes up to my, like where my hips are, I can't bring it up. And you know, that skirt has no zipper, nothing. You just have to slip it in and that's it. And yeah, I was kind of struggling and I'm like, whoa, I don't want to freaking sweat right now. So I'm going to stop struggling and just um, pick something else. Okay, the brush I'm going to be using, it's the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush. So uh, the skirt I picked, it's like a mini skirt. It's really cute. I wore that when I was pregnant. <laughs> um, but it's, I swear all my clothes are like, yeah, some fit me, some don't. You know, your body changes after every pregnancy. I mean, at least I know mine did. So, yeah, I pretty much need everything new. Mostly everything. There's some things that fit, some don't. This shirt was from years ago. So... It's a nice shirt, very classy. The foundation that I was using right now is the Maybelline that I love so much. And now I'm gonna pick up this uh, e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Pick up my mirror here and place it underneath my eye and my lid. I use this as a primer as well. And I'm gonna use the real techniques brush this one's like a foundation brush i'm going to use that to spread out the product i hope you guys can hear me i have a microphone on i hope you guys can hear me loud and clear the air conditioner is on it's running right now so i don't know if the audio picks it up. I hope it doesn't. Lily's over here with her iPad singing. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up my Laura Mercier uh, under eye brightening, under eye powder thingy. And I'm putting it on my powder puff. And I'm going to place this on my lid. And under my eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up my powder, the Wet n Wild in Banana, the Photo Focus, this one right here, and I'm gonna use that with my powder brush to set my foundation. I'm gonna get a good amount dusting off the excess a little bit you could even use the lid and press in 
and I'm just going to dab it all over my face. Too. Thank you, baby. Okay, so as you can see, I already contoured my face. I oh my used mommy. the Makeup Geek Burnish, the one I keep using, the my mommy, favorite. That's my mommy. And also, I my mommy. yes, it is Lily. Uh, for my brows, I use the NYX Fill and Fluff. That's what I use for my brows. Okay, so now I picked up this Espresso Yourself by Makeup Geek. Uh, this eyeshadow, it's like a brown. It, it's not like a brown it is a brown <laughs> okay so i'm going to use that to place it on my crease or above my crease i usually put it all over the lid on the top section of it and i know i have like a very flowery very spring or whatever you want to call it top with a lot of flowers on it. So I'm going to keep this look a bit yeah. neutral. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pick up. Nice, thank you. I'm going to pick up that same color burnished by Makeup Geek. And place it underneath on the bottom lash line. Underneath my lashes. And I'm going to connect it with this and flick it outwards. Like that to create like a cat eye kind of like a cat eye that now I'm gonna pick up this eyeshadow this one's by Mac it's called brulee brulee and pick up an eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna place this color on all over my lid area it's pretty much the color of my skin but i'm just gonna place it all over Okay, so this is what I have so far on my lids for my eyeshadow. And now I'm going to pick up this palette. This one's by Urban Decay. And the reason why I picked this palette, it's called the Electric, is because I want to use this pop of green, this lime green. I know I've been gravitating to green. I don't know why. But I'm going to pop this green. I saw this look on TikTok this morning and I'm like yo I want to do that it's like um, everything's neutral and then she puts this green in her inner corner and it looks so cute so let me give this a try this is a little tiny brush this one is a liner smudge but I'm gonna use it because it's so small to pop that color right in the center in the inner corner of my eyes like right about there and it's just so subtle but it, it gives it has that pop you know what I mean and I liked it Mommy. Mommy. okay so I already did my mascara I'm not wearing lashes today and I'm gonna pull out this summer fling blush this one's by makeup geek as well summer fling i love this blush i used it on my last video and it was really good okay so let me get my mirror and i'm going to use this blush brush the same one i used last time you see how cute it is oh my gosh i think it goes well with the eyes I love the way it came out. What do you guys think? 
Okay, so the lipstick that I'm wearing today or that I just placed right now is called Ru Rich Ruby 691 by Maybelline. And it's kind of, yeah, it's a matte color. And yeah, I think it looks really good with the subtle eyes. And then you get the bright lip. I think it looks really good. I know I let my hair down. I don't know if I'm going to wear it in a bun or up here or down here in the back. I don't know. But for now, I just let it down. See how that looks. But yes, this completes my makeup look. Let me set it with my Fix Plus by MAC. Okay, and there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And if you haven't, just do it. Thank you and have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Should I just get a bunch of random cans? Yeah. Yes, it's...